Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, beauty maven and celebrity makeup artist. And today I'm going to be talking about how you can create a winged eyeshadow effect. It's fairly easy to do and anybody can do it. Um, I actually use this a lot of my clients. So I'm going to teach you just a quick three-step process. First, let's talk really quickly about what we've done on our beautiful model, Amy Leah. We actually have, go ahead and close your eye for me, Amy. We've just done a pretty earth tone, sort of a flesh tone color from lash line to brow on her. Um, we did use a little bit of a pretty earth tone a bronzer on her cheekbones just to give her definition there and she has just a pretty nude sort of bronze I would say sort of medium bronze toned lip gloss on so this is a more distinct eye and it's you know you're obviously bringing more attention to your eyes so you want to play down your lips just a little bit you tend to think of it as you want to do opposite so if the lip is lighter then the eyes are darker and vice versa so what we're going to do first, the first step we've actually already done, we've applied just a pretty sort of flesh tone shade. And then secondly, we're going to go ahead and take some black. This is a nice matte black. What I want to show you today is how simple and easy it is. If you just simply take a latex sponge, I'm going to lay this right on the outer corner of her eye. We're actually going to draw the winged effect that we're going for right here in the corner. Go ahead and lay down. This sponge actually acts as sort of like a guide or a stencil, if you will. It's also going to prevent fallout if you're worried about the dark color ending up underneath your eye, which is not where you want it at this point. So we're going to go ahead and just create this winged effect in the corner with this nice matte black. And that's going to give you the color distinction that you want, the nice line formation here. Go ahead and do her other side. The sponge just creates a nice guide. Helps you get your alignment right in there. Okay, now once we've used the sponge for what we intended, we can go ahead and build that winged effect in the corner. And the idea here is that you want to build the color in layers. Just remember you can always add color. It's a little bit more difficult to take it away, especially when you're doing something um, more distinct. This is a great nighttime look. Great for stage. Okay, now our third step is going to be to use sort of a medium bronze tone. And I like to do this right from lash line all the way up into the crease. We're using the same brush that we used before. I'm going to go ahead and build that color and just sort of blend it into the black. And again, you can always layer this and add to it. So you'll see that it's sort of like a nice winged effect if you were going to draw that on there. The bronze color helps achieve that sort of um, universal look all across the eye, and then you get the distinction of the winged effect with the black. Go ahead and create some symmetry here by doing the other eye. I like to start on the inside of the eye and work out. We're going right from the lash line up into the crease. You could follow this with a gel liner. I would suggest black for this look across the lashes. This achieves a really pretty nighttime look. I'm going to go ahead and catch any fallout that fell underneath there. You could take a q tip and blend these lines just a little bit. When I um, do winged eyes, I like to, this line can be distinct but we like to fade it to the skin. So what I like to do is just go back in with a Q-tip. So the darkest point is here, obviously, but then we sort of fade out less and less dark till we get to the skin. There's a way to do this eye and have it look elegant and glamorous and, and certainly not scary, not going for scary. Great. 
Go ahead and open it. So I'm Lisa Nielsen, and that is how I would create a winged eyeshadow effect.